right a very good evening to all of you welcome to another video on reagent blues and this video is going to be very fascinating it's on a very fascinating topic as you can see negative temperatures um that is below absolute zero so first of all um even if you're not into research this is like i said a very fascinating topic and you will definitely like it by the end of this video i'll try to keep it short and crisp right now what exactly do i mean by negative temperatures like have you disproven the laws of thermodynamics because we say that nothing can exist beyond zero kelvin so nothing like that but in fact i would like to tell you one thing negative temperatures are the hottest temperatures known right they are in fact very very hot temperatures so how what exactly is negative temperatures how can we obtain negative temperatures how can we go beyond the zero kelvin right this is very interesting now uh, so if you look into the definition of temperature right uh, it has historically been uh, considered as a function of kinetic energy now when you talk about macroscopic particles it works right because when we say that the kinetic energy increases or the jiggling of the particle starts increasing we say that the temperature is increasing right but that is not a absolutely correct definition right if you look into um, smaller particles you would say that the temperature is a function of entropy now i'll explain you how that works or how this particular concept comes into the picture in this particular negative temperatures right so what i mean by zero kelvin what do we say when when we reach zero kelvin we say that all any kind of motion ceases to exist right because all the particles are in the ground state and there's no motion um like there will be no motion at all there will be no kinetic energy associated with the particles and we, we would say we have reached absolute zero then how can we go into negative temperatures does it mean like how can we go if the particle is see if the particle ceases to exist and we say that at zero kelvin and we say we are going even below than zero kelvin like what is going to happen are the are the particles going to collapse how can anything have a negative kinetic energy now this is where the definition of um, you can say temperature um, is incorrect right if you consider it as a function of entropy it becomes more appropriate and that is how you should know temperature it's a function of entropy now what i mean by that is in general we say that if i increase the energy the entropy increases right when we say that we increase the energy the entropy increases but what if what if i set a upper bound to the system what i mean by that is i set a upper limit of the system okay like in general when you talk about classical bodies we say that there's no upper bound like if you keep heating a system the kinetic energy will keep increasing will keep increasing the particles will start moving faster and faster and faster and faster like for example if i'm heating water molecules um or if i'm heating water the the temperature of the water will keep on rising as i get as i you know as i provided energy that means entropy will keep on increasing but what if what if i design a system which has a upper bound to the energy uh, to the entropy that means that if i increase the if i give energy to the system the particles will start moving in a higher energy state ultimately reaching the topmost level beyond that they cannot go right so i make a, a system where the upper there is upper bound to the entropy so what that means is that generally when we say that when we provide energy the entropy increases but if i develop a system which has a upper bound okay which has a upper bound then if i increase the energy the entropy of the system will decrease if i provide energy to the system the entropy will decrease because now i have a upper bound so let's say the particles are in the ground state and there is a upper bound there is a there is a upper limit to it and then i keep on increasing the energy if i keep on giving the energy all the particles will ultimately reach the topmost level and now they cannot go further so in the end what is happening is that the entropy is decreasing when i'm providing the energy because all the particles are moving up the ladder and there there is there is a limit to where the ladder can go to so after they have reached the highest energy level they cannot go further right so i have created a system such that when i when i provide some energy the entropy of the system starts decreasing rather than increasing so in general like we say entropy of the system increases on providing energy but now the entropy of the system is decreasing that is why we say that is what it means by negative temperatures that on providing heat the entropy decreases that is why the correct definition of temperature should be a function of entropy and not kinetic energy right so this is how you reach the negative temperatures now how the scientists this, this uh, like how the scientists developed this was for example um what they did they took very cold uh, like they took uh, a system of uh, let's say um uh, a few thousand gaseous molecules and they created a potential energy valley right they created a potential energy valley like this where all the gases over here were lying lying in the in the valley of the potential energy system right now what they did was a a very fascinating thing right so just let me show it to you 
so what they did was um so they created a absolutely very very cold system and they created a potential energy surface where all the gas atoms the few thousand gas atoms were lying in the valley of the system right so this is the potential energy surface it's a u-shaped surface and the atoms are lying in the valley now what they did was suddenly um they created some experimental you can say changes due to which um this particular atoms which were lying in the valley suddenly it became a hill like they inverted it like this right so now all the atoms over here are lying on the top so they are at the highest energy level and now the atoms cannot go to a higher energy level this is the highest energy level possible and all the atoms are lying in the highest possible energy so that means that the entropy over here um like when you when you provide the energy the particles will move on this potential energy ladder and ultimately reach the top that means when you're providing the, providing the energy the entropy of the system is decreasing because ultimately all the particles will reach this upper bound right and that is what it means by negative temperatures and negative temperatures are in fact the hottest temperatures known now something very interesting happens over here as well if you look into the um, probability distribution um, if you look into the Boltzmann probability the very famous equation right but if I take the temperatures to be if I take this temperature to be negative then the what the, what that means is that this sign becomes positive and the and the formula becomes uh, probability is proportional to e delta positive e upon kt that means that now the pro the now the particles are going to be um there will be going to be more particles in the upper in the excited state than the ground state right so this is something very interesting and what i'm going to do is i'm going to share some um i'm going to share some links with you down in the description box so that those of you who are interested can read more about it because like i said it is a very very fascinating topic right so i hope you learned something new today if you like to see such more such videos you can let me know down in the comment section if you like this video you can give it a big thumbs up and also if you haven't subscribed to the channel i would highly request you to please subscribe to the channel and um, i hope to see you again really soon with another interesting video thank you so much for watching and wish you all a very good night Hey guys, so I'm a verified educator on Unacademy and along with that I'm also available on the Unacademy Plus platform where I'm taking live classes along with other educators. So in case you're interested in attending the live classes, you can subscribe to the Unacademy Plus platform using my referral code that is SETHI SETI and that will give you 10% discount. All right. And in case you're not interested in attending the live classes, you can watch the free courses that are available on the Unacademy. For that, all you need to do is go to the Unacademy website or download the Unacademy learning app and search my name over there. That is ACT. Once you do that, you will get the access to all the free courses that are available on the Unacademy platform. All right. Now let's begin with the video.